The Olson and Meehan families would like to congratulate Ken Olson on his induction into the RMHS Athletic Hall of Fame. In the first 60 years of athletics at Reddy Memorial High School, very few matched the class of 1961's Ken Olson versatile athletic skill. But what set him apart even more was the leadership and the character he embodied in the athletic venues and in his personal life. Legendary RMHS Hall of Fame coach John Hollingsworth called Ken one of the few top athletes and young men he ever coached, and they never heard Ken say a bad word about anyone. Peter Strassel, RMHS teammate, called Olson a ferocious tackler who led by example and was simply the most admired and respected member of his graduating class. His sister-in-law, Pam, called Ken a gift to Reading High School and pondered, was Ken too good to be true? Yes, the greatest thing is he is. The earliest signs of extraordinary life that Ken was about to lead could be found on the front page of the Reading Chronicle on May 1, 1959 when the 16-year-old Olson rescued two people who had capsized in a Lake Winnipesaukee boating accident. Ken's RMHS athletic career consisted of eight varsity letters, captaincy of the 1960 Reading High Hall of Fame football team, and numerous all-state and all-league honors while fashioning a new brand of athlete, the four-sport athlete. It was proclaimed in an article following the graduation of the class of 1961 that this was the greatest athlete class in the history of Reading High School. Dick Horton was hailed as the school's most accomplished athlete in its history and was further noted by Ken Olson followed closely behind Horton with this distinction. Ken made no bigger impression than as a two-way end on the football field and a three-year starter. Standing at six feet tall and weighing 185 pounds, he was considered above average for the era and had a chiseled athletic frame. Early in his junior year, it was clear that Olsen was going to have a breakout year as the highlights started rolling up. In the opener versus favored Wakefield, he snared a two-point conversion pass in the fourth quarter to secure a tie that was considered an upset. He followed that up with being named Player of the Week by the local newspaper after the team routed Springfield Cathedral. Against Winchester, he dragged two defenders into the end zone on a TD catch that spurred a rout of the unbeaten Sachems which broke a nine-year winless streak versus Winchester. And that season, Olsen was the lone member of a promising 5-2-2 two two Reading squad to receive all league honors. As a senior, he was voted the lone captain of the veteran squad, following in his all-scholastic brother John's footsteps. And despite an ominous preseason newspaper headline, he led the future Hall of Fame 11 to an undefeated season. On a team with a dominant ground game, Olsen was a major force on the line that opened holes for 270 yards rushing as Redding took down Winchester in a battle of undefeated teams late in the season. During the game, Olsen suffered two bilateral ankle sprains while being clipped from behind. The following week, the biggest football game at the time, Redding High School history was played before 8,000 spectators at Birch Meadow Field. The hobbled Olsen was used sparingly, but Redding stopped Melrose's 16-game winning streak with a 24-22 victory all but assuring the team of their eventual league title. Ken was recognized by the Boston Globe and Boston Herald as an all-scholastic end on offense to go along with his second straight all-league honor. At the team's end-of-the-year awards banquet, Ken received the program's highest honor, being named Henry Ingersoll Award winner. Ken made the quick transition each season to the hardwood, where he was also a two-year starting guard. In his junior year, Olsen had a standout season, including a highly publicized game-winning set shot to knock powerful Belmont out of the Tech Tournament qualification. Redding went on a run in a very competitive Bay State tournament and won the championship. Olsen's 17 points in the final propelled him onto the All-Tournament team, and Ken was also named the Middlesex League All-Star team. In his senior year, Redding won the Middlesex League title while recording an overall 16-1 regular season record. Olsen had his highest scoring game of the season with a 23-point effort against Lexington in the league clincher. The team went on to advance to the semifinals of the Tech Tourney, and for the second time, Olsen was named a Middlesex League basketball all-star. Baseball was a sport that came very easy to Ken from his days playing for the Little League powerhouse Red Sox along with his friend and future Hall of Fame member, Dick Horton. 
As a ninth grader, he was asked to play on the varsity and won the starting position and batted second in the order. The 15-year-old ended up leading the team in hits while having the second highest batting average at 351. Described as someone who was more interested in the experience than the achievements, the star baseball player left the eventual Middlesex League champion after his junior year to try his hand at track and field. He moved on to his fourth sport as a half-miler and javelin thrower in the final season as a Reading High athlete. While being the fifth highest point scorer on the Reading track team, Ken completed his brief experience in track with a fifth place finish in the javelin at the state invitational meet. As remarkable as his story was through his high school years, Ken brought it to a brand new level at the University of New Hampshire and beyond. As a sophomore, he blocked a potential winning field goal by UMass in a 16-14 win, preserving UNH's last undefeated season in the final game of the year. As his lone senior captain, he was a second-team All-Yankee Conference as an offensive end. Ken left the UNH baseball team as a junior to try his fifth sport, lacrosse. And after one season, he had already established himself as a star midfielder and was voted captain of the team for his senior year. As his brother-in-law, RMHS Hall of Famer John Meehan noted, I would say Ken was just a natural athlete, but that would diminish his worth ethic. After college, Ken joined the Air Force where he spent six years. The decorated fighter pilot flew a Phantom IV in over 100 missions in North Vietnam before becoming an instructor. Ken followed his service with a long career as a commercial airline pilot for Eastern and United until his retirement. Ken Olson, the dedicated family man, avid sailor, expert skier, and the ultimate sportsman who was described as fiercely loyal, kind, honest, humble, and a true gentleman passed away much too early at the age of 69. Ken lived the great American dream and lived it to the fullest while leaving behind an amazing legacy of leadership, character, patriotism, and exuberance for life to his family and friends. It is with great pride the Reading Athletic Hall of Fame welcomes Ken Olson into its Hall of Fame class of 2015.